very good afternoon to all of you. Um, I would like to add a lot of things to after hearing the views and comments of various uh, women achievers. Uh, there are many things which are coming to my mind. Number one, that is uh, if you feel that uh, you, uh, you know, uh, it is your parents, your husband, your family who have <coughs> brought you to this level, who have actually enabled your success. It is very true. But at the same time, you cannot reach this level unless you have it in, in within you. So what I want to say is that capability is gender neutral. And if you have it within, within you, sooner or later, you will get your due, you will get recognition, and you will make it to the top. Never work to get the highest seat in the organization. You should try to excel and do the best and try to put in your 100% to whatever you are doing. I would never consider a woman sitting at home to be unproductive. In fact, a housewife, a homemaker, does a very important task by staying at home and looking after the career of many people in the household. So, my view on a homemaker and a housewife is that she is not at all unproductive in any which way. She is the woman behind the success of the entire family. So, she is like an unsung hero who does not get her recognition. And she is the one who actually should be felicitated on all these occasions. Apart from that, I heard the views of other achievers, women achievers, that uh, the ev every day is a women's day. That is very true. But in a country like ours, where for generations women have been neglected, they have been deprived of, let's just not even talk about higher education, but even basic education. So in a country like ours, where women have been deprived of basic education, it is very important to celebrate this day. It is very important to change the mindset of the people around us, and especially the, our male counterpart. Because despite the fact we know that every single day belongs to a woman, we should celebrate this day to make a statement and to make our presence felt and the kind of impact that we have made on our society. In fact, uh, the Nobel laureate Amar Sen has very rightly said that our population comprises of 50% of women population. But unfortunately, in few countries like ours, our workforce, which is 50% workforce, women should be contributed towards the economy of the country, towards the economic growth of our country. But that is not happening. Very few women are in the senior position, in the leadership positions, and most of the women who are part of the workforce are at the junior level. What could be the reason? The reason could be within us. Maybe we have conditioned, I am not talking about us as individuals because we are all high achievers and we have brought up our daughters in a way that they definitely reach very high levels and they reach. But in general, the women are not occupying senior leadership position. Only 5 to 10 percent women in India are reaching the top. Whereas across the globe, 20 percent women have been able to make it to the leadership position. The reason for this is the kind of country, the kind of culture that we are living in and the conditioning of the mind that is done right from the childhood for the girl child that we bring up in the society. I am very fortunate that I am heading a university which is exclusively for women and it is the first of its own kind which has been established by the government of Delhi as Indira Gandhi Delhi Technical University for Women. 
For several decades, women have not been encouraged to take up engineering as a profession. And you will find that their representation in the engineering industry is just about 20 to 25 percent. And that too because of the IT industry. IT industry has grown at a very rapid rate in the last two decades. And that has been the biggest reason for the women to participate in the engineering workforce. But uh, at the same time, I would like to add that women are blessed with creative skills, networking skills, and many other soft skills, which help them become a natural leader. And they are not only creative, but they are also very good coordinators and they also understand the science, the technological aspect and the science very well, which gives them an edge over their male counterparts. We at our campus are admitting 300 women engineers every year to our VTech programs, MTech programs, MCA program and PhD program. And we find that the companies are thronging our campus in thousands, in hundreds, to recruit women engineers because in the last one decade, the girls have done extremely well in the engineering profession. And therefore, the companies are visiting our campus over and over again just to recruit women engineers. In fact, senior people from Microsoft, Oracle, SAP, Mahindra and Mahindra, Maruti Udyog, these are hardcore automobile manufacturing companies who have visited our campus just to recruit women engineers because they find them more dedicated, more creative and more productive. Our girls who are studying mechanical and automation engineering, which is not a very popular branch among girls, but every year 60 girls are admitted to this branch in our university and these girls are winning car design contests year after year at national and international levels. Our girls, I would like to share my experience. Why? Because I want to know how, what is the power of a woman and how much she can achieve provided she is given the right kind of engagement, uh, encouragement and the right kind of platform. Our girls have been going to international events in Malaysia, Australia and they have won Green Vehicle Award. They have won award for designing a super mileage vehicle which gives an average of 130 kilometers per liter which is incredible and they have last week my girls have won a chairman's award of 1 lakh among 126 teams parties which have participated from the entire country for that car design contest and our all girls team stood at the 56th position, but they got the chairman award for all-round performance. Their vehicle withstood the endurance test by completing 20 laps of a very hostile terrain because the kind of vehicle they had designed, it did not catch fire and it went on and on and on, whereas other cars which were designed by their wave counterparts, they, were bro they all broke down. So, there is so much to share and so much to talk about because uh, women are now leading every front, every area and it is only in our mind that we find any kind of barrier. And as uh, my professor Dr. Ritu Bhartwal said that you never feel you are a woman, you know, because you feel equal. It is because of the way you have been treated at, in your family, at your workplace that you always feel, you don't feel discriminated at all. And if you are performing well, then there is no such thing as a glass ceiling. If you are good, if you are committed, if you are passionate about what you are doing, then you can shatter all kinds of glass ceiling that comes your way. So thank you very much and uh, wish you all the best.